G'day everyone, Eric here from Ride WA. Great to have you along again. We've had an action-packed weekend with a heap of crew. We've had about a dozen riders that on Saturday, yesterday, we showed around all the trails here in Collie that we're using for pretty much the 35, the 50 and the 70 kilometers. Here with us now is Lance. Lance is a champion and we put him on a nice tall chair, so he, uh, we're eyeballing your challenge. Thanks so challenge. much, yeah. much appreciate it, yeah. Eric. Uh, so we'll go on from there and tell us a little bit about what you thought about the trails that you rode yesterday and how it laid out. Oh, look, Eric, I thought it was superb, you know, as uh, we were lucky to have beautiful weather yesterday, mm. but it started off Indeed. nice and fast with what you kind of want with a big bunch, and it will be a big bunch there in that race. And plenty of time to kind of separate ourselves before we hit the single track. The single track is sweet. It's really, really grippy. Um, I think midway through the race, raised that, that kind of uh, fatigue will set in through concentration on the single tracks, but then it gave it a bit of a break on fire trail again to mm. recover a little bit, bit of time to feed. Um, and then back on, and then probably the last 10 K is smash fist on the flat, which would suit a lot of riders. And look, all around, great time, great fun. It was awesome yesterday on the track. Looking forward to it. So race on Saturday, of course, 70 kilometres is the long course, so that's part of the marathon series. And uh, 50 kilometres and 35 kilometres as well, plus 25 kilometres adaptive. Big thanks to Synergy for their support of the Akali River Mountain Bike Marathon and also DBCA, also known as Parks and Wildlife. They're a great partner as well. Now, Lance... You've got a business, do a bit of training, a bit of coaching. You've done quite a few bike riders over the years. Tell us a little bit about your business and tell us a little bit about what you need to do as a run into an event like this of or course. what to look for. So I run the Endurance Edge personal training, which is for um, a lot of athletes, boxers and that, but uh, predominantly cyclists, um, is to get strong, basically, as strong and lean as we can. And um, teach you the aspects of like how to train properly in different zones and uh, nutrition, um, as far as leading up to racing, uh, one of the most important aspects um, is not to cram train the week before. What, what you've got leading up to the race is what you've got, you know. You can't cram. One of the most important things is don't overdo it in the last week. You have to kind of reduce your volume a lot up to like, you know, say 40, 50% of what you normally do, especially if you're doing longer hours. But you have to add those little short bouts of intensity so the body remembers, but not long intensity fatigue. We're talking like 90 second pre-race efforts. Usually try and take the second day off before the race and then the day before the race we ride to keep those legs ticking over so we don't feel sluggish, okay? As far as nutrition, we don't really eat more. It's this carb-loading philosophy years ago. We don't overload the carbs. We just have a higher proportion of carbs. And keep your protein up because with protein, your body can't store protein, okay? Get a good night's sleep. Um, I like a couple of red wines night for a race, but everyone's got their <laughs> own little individual techniques. And... Um, and of course, be relaxed, okay? The more relaxed we are before the race, the better we go, right? There's no need to be tense. It's only a mountain bike race. Mm. So chill out, relax, and ride fast. Awesome. So thank you very much to Lance for coming along. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out the rest of our videos. And very soon, we're also going to be giving away some free entries thanks to DBCA, our wonderful event partners. Um, there's three pairs of tickets, one through radio in the southwest, one through Facebook, and I actually can't remember where we're giving the other ones away. But we will let you know. Stick around. We'll talk to you soon. And see you next time.